guiding, while to some people on the outside it might seem like a glamorous thing, it's a lot of work. But every time somebody steps into my boat for a guide trip, it's it's their trip. This is their trip. And spending the day on the water with people, it's just it's really a dream come true. It's just a truly special experience. Setting the hook, netting the fish, high-fiving people, and that's truly the passion. Yeah. What drives me is fishing different species and making memories with people. It's, it's a phenomenal thing. And that's what keeps me coming back. That's what fuels my fire for guiding. Every day is something new and seeing the smiles on people's faces when they catch that personal best makes it all worthwhile. And I love watching kids get addicted to uh, fishing. We are a family. Between all of us, we spend countless hours on the water. And at the end of the day, it's about making sure that the people that were in your boat learned something and enjoyed that experience and made some memories along the way. 31 inches, baby! Woo, woo, woo. Chris, you're up. Am I gonna get this one, Nick? Get him. There you go. Beautiful fish. Oh boy. One of my faves. That's a little nicer one. Woo! Yeah! There we go, buddy. Right away! Go to beautiful leech like musky, those spots. It's not a super tan. Nice fish, buddy. Thanks. That's a good one. Oh, oh there, there we go. go. There we go. First nice fish of the day. Yeah. Yeah, on top of these fish, like you said. Here it comes, here it comes. Come on. <laughs> yeah! That is how you catch a leech like a Yeah! <laughs> That's all oh. in the day. We wanted to go catch a big one. Let's pick it. Nice. Yeah! <laughs> 37. Eight minutes to go. Woo! The Guide Life with Leisure Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by these great partners. Hey, welcome to beautiful Leech Lake for episode five of The Guide Life. Uh, today I'm fishing with Jeff Anderson and Bob. We are chasing muskies here on Leech Lake and we're just getting started. Looking forward to the grind. We are on spot number two of the morning. Switch gears to another shallow spot. Uh, this one has a little, well, once we get around the corner, there'll be a little more wind on it. Uh, running the same program. Bob's fishing blades up front. Jeff's fishing magical contraption in the back, and I'm fishing a shallow crankbait. See what happens. That's a big wave coming, Bob. <laughs> That's an angry one. Yeah. <laughs> Whee. Are gonna be sore after today. Did you see that one, Tim? I did not. Oh. I saw the swirl. Nice one? Yeah. It's a 47 incher. Really? Yeah, it was a really nice fish. Uh, out just a bit too, huh? I mean, he caught, got right up on it, and I sped up, and it tail kicked, and like, I don't know if it nipped or what, and the tail came out of the water and turned. Really? Well, I think we've uh, run spot number three. The first two spots did produce follows. The second spot produced a really big one that uh, was looking a little bit sporty, but never touched the bait. So the idea for the morning, at least while the wind is going, is uh, we're going to run and gun rocks. Have you ever wanted to say over and over with every cast, this is the one? Yeah. <laughs> so by the end of the day, you can actually tell a story that said, I called it. Yeah. That actually might be the one. Come on. Fish. Boy, Bob. Yep. That a baby? All right. You ready? Yep. All right. Woo, Bob! 
job. Okay. Good right. boy. Good job on the net. The back draw. You got players, Jeff? I do. Hi, all. I think she might be out. Okay. Yep. We're good. No, no players needed. Talking to anglers in the boat all the time. You know, when they're fishing on their own, one of the things I think most musky fishermen can do to improve is to fish as a team. Is to really like think about what each other is throwing. Think about how how you're working together. And Jeff really uh, really guided Tim and I here to you know with this big wind and the big waves to really focus on the boat control for us and it paid off in a big way. Did we get 48 and a half? Yeah. 48 and a half. All yeah. right. Woo! Chunker too. Yeah. Oh. Tub. <laughs> All right. 48 and a half or? All right, I want to get her back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. She gone. Woo! All right. Slime me high five. Okay. Yeah. I'm going 40 and a half or? That's a beast. Tim, let's get one more and have some pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> you guys got more work to do than that. Oh, yeah. So I'll just cover real quick. Yesterday, calm conditions, rocks. This is what we got bites on yesterday. We got two big ones yesterday, both on real little bucktails like that. Today, we went up to 10-9 combo just with the big wind, I want to move a little bit more water. I want those fish to be able to see it. I want them to be able to chase it down. And um, that's exactly what that one did. These big fish, when the water's cooling down, I think, Jeff, we've got 70 and a half, 71 degree water temperature. Yep, We're coming off a summer peak where we've literally had uh, water temperatures 75, 77 in the afternoon for a month, five, six weeks straight. So to get this cool down, these fish do not want to have to expend the energy and not have the calories to pay for it. We were just talking about that with a, with a big follow we got on the last spot. We were very disappointed the fish didn't eat. We weren't able to convert that fish. And um, so we really look forward to cranking them fast, make those fish make a decision, and uh, it usually results in a big bite. Big bite. All right. Woo. Fish where the fish are. That part ain't rocket science. In terms of walleye production, Leech Lake is best. Trapper's Landing Lodge on the south shore of Leech Lake has the finest lodging on the entire lake. With renowned angling expert Josh Pullivant managing the property, Trapper's Landing is the place to be. Opening weekend and all season long. Fish where the fish are. Stay at Trapper's. Call for reservations 218-836-2500. Stop into Ray Sport and Marine today to check out our remaining 2022 in stock inventory or place your 2023 order with guaranteed price lock until September 1st. After September 1st, prices are subject to change, so now is the time to reserve your new boat. From tillers to side councils and full windshield models, we sell them all. Our sales and service team is here to help you get on the water. Ray Sport and Marine, 896 Northeast 1st Street, Grand Rapids, Minnesota. So I, you know, the, the beauty part, you know, I go back and forth between having a windshield and having a tiller, and this is my 11th one pro guide. This boat has attributed to so many big bites on these really big windy days, 
it's not as fun getting there but you put your blackfish gear on and you're fine but once you get there the guys up front are casting i can back troll right down the edge of the reef and they can get way more cast on the on the really really hot rocks you know right on the really good rocks over and over again so i can just sit here bump it in and out and they can just cast right down the edge they get so many more casts in it rather than trying to fight all these giant waves with a troller and there's times on leech where these big muskies love to bite in big wind it's just a challenge to fish but now with my big tiller and we get a lot of first time musky anglers in our boats and there's nothing more thrilling than having a first time musky angler learn how to cast kind of grasp the idea of what we're doing and then you know hopefully they get one but even when they see a big fish charging their bait from behind it's it's a lot of fun to be in the boat with them but when you do get that bite you know I know for me that fish was at the surface right away and I think if we go back and look at that you'll see I had that rod tip six seven feet under doing everything I can to control that fish because nine out of ten times when they when they chow it out on the cast like that when we lose them is when they jump 42 maybe you think yeah that's what i think oh well, there's one more jeez dumb one though it's supposed to bite that one got out in about halfway out there i saw it when the waves went down and then i'm like i'm gonna wait to say anything <laughs> Weird, they like big blades and wind, who would have thought? Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. This is the bite I dream about in January and February and March and April and May. Exactly. Tim, would you hurry up and do it on the cast that Jeff calls so he doesn't have to call it all day long? I'm trying. <laughs> I'll crank just a little faster. That's the beauty of modern musky fishing though, with these reels and long rods and, yeah. and it just makes it a little less painful. Literally can feel the burn in yeah. every retreat. <laughs> and I just can't I just can't stop thinking to myself, like musky fishing is so fun. Oh shit. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that one got me. <laughs> you win wave. You son of a gun. Isn't it nuts? The, the one thing I was nervous about for today was a lack of wind. We got the breeze. Oh, it feels good to be in shorts. Yes, now I can catch one. The restricted clothing. Oh, yeah, jeez. Oh, jeez, yeah. Lazy. Came up to give it a kiss. Sitting back Didn't here, I, I said, "Hey, I just got smoked." You got smoked, and you could see this thing snaking behind the bucktail. And it was funny. We were out there fishing on the rocks, and I'm throwing the bulldog, and I had probably five or six of them come up and look at the bulldog. One even nosed it. And Bob here was like, "Well, my bucktail's not getting any play," and of course, he catches one. <laughs> That's the story of musky fishing, right there. So yeah, Jeff said it. We so we started off on rocks and had some hot fish and a big bite. And um, I think what we went two rocks fox in a row without moving a fish. Yeah. And then you moved four. Yeah. But none of them were getting squirrely. They were right. Be, we'll come back to those ones tonight. We will. Yeah. We know where we'll be during the next window. Yeah. This is a game of musky fishing right here on Leech Lake, and this 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 lake is as good as it gets. And typically, a high pressure north east wind is as tough as it gets but man i've 
we've had a lot of fun today. I mean, we're seeing fish. We've had some hot fish moving. Move and... Yeah, look at that. That's a beautiful, beautiful spotted one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just a baby. I'll grow up and. That's a future back 50 here. incher right there. You bet 50. it is. Here, we'll pull, I'll pull this net out of your way for the release. Try not to get you all wet. I love these cooler water temperatures. Yeah, what are we? Ten, minute, ten minutes into fishing weeds? Kaboof. Kaboof. Yeah. Just a straight up bite. That was awesome. That was as cool as it gets. Snaking behind the bucktail like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when you notice a change in how the fish are reacting and what they're doing, uh, don't don't hesitate to call an audible. I think we've talked about calling an audible two or three times a day, you know, when yeah. it's going really good and it's like hot fish every spot, two spots where that dies off, it's time to time to try something new. And even though that was a little one, I always tell people Musky fishing is musky fishing. You have zero control over how big of a fish bites your bait, right? right? So every follow you get, every active fish you see, regardless of size, you can kind of use it to help put the whole thing together. So it's cool. All right? Nice work, Bob. What do we got there, a bag? Got it. Nice. Oh, I jinxed it. Oh. Come on, baby. Stay on. Yes. Ooh, that's, good that's mojo right there. Put that one in the box. Keep her. So we're midday now. Uh, it's been a beautiful musky grind. Just a fun day. We, we woke up and the wind was blowing way more than what was forecasted, but that was fine. We battled through it and had some really good activity, which is typical early morning. And You know, there's a there's always a sunrise and there's always a sunset every day, right? And those are those are key times for musky fishing. And now we're kind of grinding through the day and made an adjustment after catching that really nice one right away this morning and caught a caught a really pretty one, which which is cool to catch two different sized fish and kind of show the the two different uh, you know they get big and clear, they kind of lose those spots, and then those small really pretty ones are cool, but. No, we're just kind of grinding through the day, mixing between sand and weeds and rocks and and uh, having a blast with these two guys. Uh, last time I fished with Tim was, I think, 12 years ago, and we were just talking about that. And that's really what this game is all about is, you know, building bonds and telling stories and laughs and jokes. And I have a feeling we got a couple more bites ahead this evening that's kind of setting up pretty nice for that. So. Leech Lake's an amazing fishery, it truly is, and it always will be. There's there's a ton of muskies in here, um, and if you're willing to grab the rod, make a lot of casts, and grind away, you're gonna you're gonna get a bite. Fortunate for us, we found two of them already. So, but we're never done. So we got a couple more to go. We bit our bucktails, muskies. That's right. Do you know that? Oh boy. We agree. Well, I'm, I'm speaking for Tim to say we agree that if we catch one here, all is forgiven. But if we don't, just, just based on the smell, it may be off limits from choosing the spots the rest of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here you go, Timothy. Ah. Here, I don't finish. Or do you want to scoop it? No, nope. go ahead. You scoop it. All right. I'll get it all the way. Ready? Yep. Got her. What do you think of that? Bob! I have to throw my hat now. I don't care what this spot smells yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> what a day, boys. Yeah, what a day. Good job, Bob. Thank you, Tim. I mean, I hate it when they jump, and then after they land and they're still there, I'm like, well, that was cool. Well, that was cool. <laughs> Woo! We were just talking about the musky grind and you know just back on the corner there that 
this is what happens and this is a really special fish i mean it's a nice nice mid 40 inch muskie um you just keep grinding through grinding through fish through the spots and i always believe every cast always believe every cast you're going to catch one that one snaked up behind it and chowed it the the analogy i always use you know with with muskies and taking really good care of them is you run around the block really fast as hard as you can as a human you get winded right imagine sticking your head in a bucket of water and you can't breathe well that's what happens with these muskies is they fight so hard it's best to have a, a net like this Scissors? and you just let them sit in the water let them re revive and recoup and then you get your cameras all ready get them unhooked she's just fine in the water there's tons of tons of oxygen there the water temps aren't that hot you know they're only 70 degrees right now so she's just fine laying in the water it's just her uh just her happy spot there take good care of her and then you get the camera set pull her out and if you want to bump it you pull it out you bump it take a photo let it go it's out of the water for 15 20 seconds max so or we talked about the fish cutters you have all your tools ready you know this is this is a uh, tool that you have to have in the boat is if it's hooked really bad you just grab your fish cutters cut the hooks and and release it but bob was able to get that one unhooked good and fast i always have i always have two of them i actually have three of them extra players and you know and and a lot of times too i'll just unhook the bait from the leader and uh, in this case the line was around the fish so we just got scissors and cut the line just try to get everything clear yeah it's easy to retie in fact it's not a bad idea to retie every once in a while anyway and um especially when you catch yeah. three muskies in one day yeah. <laughs> he's on fire come on up to agency bay and Sure, a few casts, right? That's right. <laughs> Chow to bucktail. Yeah, beautiful fish. Nice <laughs> Number 40, three? 41, 42 incher, third one of the day. Yeah, and a good leaper. So, yeah, this little, you know, we talked about uh, bucktails earlier, and we don't have quite as much wind now, so we've downsized, and um, yeah, it's paying off. <laughs> You're out right. of breath, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to get her back. Get her back, and yeah. Monkey, monkey, I love this cooler water temperature. Woo. That's a sweet release. All right, yeah. So, you got it, Bob. Bob, you got it. You got to tell me. Somebody who's thinking about coming up to chase a muskie. What would you tell them after catching three in a day? I mean, a well, half day. <laughs> It, th this doesn't happen every day, right? We're I mean, three pretty good anglers. We're pounding through all the best spots, right? But what, well, can you I mean, what can you expect as an angler to come up to Leech Lake? I mean, the first thing I would say is uh, plan to catch fish. Plan, plan to fish hard and have opportunities. Yeah. Um, you know, I love, I think, you know, the average fish in my boat at the end of the year, Jeff, is going to be 43 to 45 inches when you average it all out. And I think pretty that's a pretty muskie. special fishery, right? Like, yeah. you know, I know I've fished muskies all over the upper Midwest and Canada and tiger muskies in, in the West. And I don't know that I've ever been on a fishery where you consistently catch 40 to 48 inch fish. No. And that and is so the average me, fish out here. That, yeah. To me, that's, that's pretty exciting about this lake. Um, but I think we've talked about today, you know, wind. We've talked about versatility, you know, we talked about when, you know, it's going really good, stick with it and run and gun. And then when it's not going so good, change it up. Yeah. And we did that. We got a weeds fish today yeah. as well. And sandfish uh, now. Sandfish now. Um, yeah. You know, and that's part of the part of the tactic, I think, is, you know, we had cooler water temperatures, we had wind, so we were fishing really fast. And now we've got, sun has been out for a while now. We've got water temperatures have come up a couple degrees through the day. Yeah. And so, you know, their metabolism is running at the, at the peak that it'll run all year right now. Yep. And so now that the water temperature's warming up, we're looking for fish to be in areas where they're gonna warm up. Yeah. And uh, we're continuing to fish fast in terms of, boat control is great. We're working, we're picking apart the spots, but we're reeling really fast. And that's creating uh, where the fish just doesn't have a chance to think about what it's doing. Um, there yeah. are times where we'll fish more stop and go baits, you yep. know, where the fish can kind of look at it and decide if it wants to eat it. But today it's, it's all about, you know, landing on a fish. Don't give it a chance to think about it. And, uh, when they're that's eat, paying off. When, when they're when, eating bucktails, yeah. it's one of the funnest things in the world. Yeah. You just fish through the spots and yeah. the cool, the cool thing for me is we, 
there's been three bites, right? I know we're getting long-winded, and as you, you watch in the show, you don't get to see the downtime. But we caught one back trolling today in the big waves. Yeah. Caught one drifting down a weed edge. Yep. Now we caught one working a very specific sand transition yep. weed edge. And, yep. And so three different types of bites um, and be versatile. Be yep. willing to be willing to grind away. Yeah. And uh, this is something that you can experience. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I, I mean, I, I'm happy with the day, but I, I don't think we're done yet. No. Grab that bucktail too, Jeff. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, big double-bladed bucktails is, has been you know what everybody shows up to and they work yeah you know we, the first do. fish today was on a 10-9 combo yeah but you know we got two really big fish yesterday on a little bitty single bladed bucktail and uh that's two fish today on a on a small single bladed bucktail yeah. um you don't have to fish big to catch big fish yeah no i've preached that for 25 years and another thing about fishing a little bit smaller bait is it doesn't wear you out quite as much yeah. as those really big baits yeah. and, and very few can cast big blades for 13, 14 hours a day and be, be efficient because you get to sunset and we know sunset's a positive time to catch Absolutely. them. Absolutely. And then you're so tired you can't set the hook. You know, yeah. I've seen that quite a bit. So, all right, let's okay. get back to it. Sorry yeah. the long-winded <laughs> bada boom, yeah. bada bing. The one, two, and the hee hee, ha. We're out here today and we've got this Maluna unhinged cooler made in the USA, made right here in Minnesota, and this thing is absolutely amazing. Last thing we want to worry about in the morning is making sure that we have enough ice in the boat. We know that when we fill up our Maluna on the start of the week, that towards the end of the week we're still going to have cold ice inside of there. Oversized handles, they're lightweight, easy to haul around, plenty of room, and these things are top notch. You want a cooler that'll keep ice for several days on end, these Maluna unhinged are where it's at. Family Outdoor Outfitters is the number one ice fishing headquarters. We have everything you need from today's firearms to the latest fishing electronics and the hottest footwear and outdoor apparel. We only carry the best brands at the best prices. Have a question? No problem. We have the most knowledgeable team in the business ready to answer your call personally seven days a week. Whether you're visiting us in Walker, Minnesota or touching your screen with our state-of-the-art distribution center, we can get you gear when you need it fast. Cast or blast? Reeds has the best service, best advice and best price guaranteed. on the water. Mother Nature has given us all sorts of things today. Sure <laughs> Big wind, flat calm, three muskies. Okay guys, uh, wouldn't be a bad idea to start talking about some of our Facebook questions. Um, first one comes from Alan Schuler. How do you decide color of bucktail or lure to use on day conditions? Overcast, sunny, etc. Tim, what do you think, buddy? Well, uh, I was like bright sunny days, gold or white or something natural. And then on the darker days, something with a little more color on it. But. I'm a big gold guy, regardless. Just you leech almost exclusively. We've got a handful of colors that work really well. Um, honestly, I don't think a ton about color change based on conditions. I think about structure change based on conditions. And uh, I'm gonna throw colors I like. You know, whether it's a uh, gold, which I agree with a ton. I, I like. 
for full and gold. Uh, black and silver is always a can't miss. Um, but for me, you know, the conditions, whether it's sunny or calm or windy versus not, like right now it's flat calm. So we're fishing weeds. If it was overcast, I don't know that I would change colors. And I think, you know, with the water being so clear here, it's more about what structure I'm fishing versus what color I'm, I'm fishing. You know, colors are the age old question, you know, and I think it's a confidence thing. I think it's whatever you're most confident in. I'm, I'm, uh, I like, I like a black with a natural color blade. That's my kind of my go to. Black is good, black is good in all light conditions. Um, you, you, you'll talk to a hundred anglers and they'll all tell you their favorite color, and most of them are, are all different, right? And so, I'll, in my decision making throughout the day, color is on the least priority. Can it make a difference? Absolutely. Um, but it's the least priority thing when it when it comes to me with fishing. I, like Bob said, it's it's structure, putting your boat in the right spot, putting your lure in the right spot over and over and over again. So, but um, you know, like black has been known well. Chartreuse has been really good in the in the dark. I, a lot of a lot of great anglers will will choose a black and chartreuse um, color combination, but. I have literally caught muskies on every single color, but my go-to colors is actually a black on black bucktail. That's that's what I like best. Talking about color leads into the next question. The next question was about conditions. What are our favorite conditions versus least favorite conditions? So I think it's very timely that uh, we cover that because I can tell you right now, high skies and zero wind is my absolute least favorite condition. I second that. <laughs> Although, although, I think we, we also talk about muskies metabolisms. And uh, even though it can be hard to keep confidence level up on a day like today, it does seem like some of the biggest fish caught all year come on a day like today where there's a fish just sunning itself on top of a rock reef or on a sand beach. And then a bait goes by them and for whatever reason they decide to eat. One of my, my favorite conditions for muskie fishing is a nice south warm breeze. Doesn't need to be blown crazy hard, but it, just a nice south breeze, barometers low, low pressure systems coming through, you know, low skies, maybe even a little mist on, on it. Um, and of course that's weather dependent too as well. You know, I, I've, I've had done really good on, you know, when it's been flat and hot for many days and then all of a sudden you get a northwest rainy day, northwest wind rainy day. Those have been some really good fishing days for me. My least favorite is post frontal after that, that moisture moves through um, the system and uh, you get a cold, dry northwest wind where that, that wind is biting the face and those are, those are by far my toughest fishing days. But like Bob said, those are the days where you don't see many fish and you have very low activity, but I have caught some of my biggest muskies on, on those really tough days. So I think the storyline is you just keep casting. Just keep casting these goofy fish and I always believe you're going to catch one. Mike wants to know what is the largest muskie that we've seen or heard of out of the lake? I've heard some crazy stuff about some upper 50 inch fish, whether they're true or not, I don't know. I can tell you the biggest fish in my boat on Leech Lake is just under 53 inches. Um, biggest fish I've seen. I think we've joked about this a couple times today. I never get it right when they're in the net, so I don't know how big a fish I've seen, but uh, biggest fish I've Biggest fish I've put on a bump board in my boat is just shy of 53 inches. Well, I think that one, 57, what was it? 57 and a half, yeah. quarter? I heard about that one too, and that's probably the biggest one that I believe. But I do think there's some giants out here. They're just sneaky giants. and. Um, yeah, so that's the biggest one I've heard of that's probably the most 
feasible, believable. All right, last question. What is the strangest pattern or technique that you've made work to catch leech lake mussels? That's a great question. It is a great question. I would say maybe not pattern, but doing something that goes against the book and then having it work out consistently, whether that's fishing rock on a super calm day, but you know, it's going against the wind thing and the cloud thing and or vice versa, fishing weeds on a day that rock might be good. Just doing something a little different than everybody else is kind of the whole constant thing for me at least. Like you're always looking to be a step ahead or find something different and that's what I like. That's a great question. Um, you know, I when I talk muskies, I, I'm pretty simple. Put yourself in the right position to succeed over and over and over again. And I try not to stray too much from what I know works, but one thing that I, I've i seen that goes against the grain is I've had really, really good days out here on Leech in the middle of the afternoon when everybody else is in. You know, sunrise and sunset's a great time to catch them. But there's been days where I've been out here and even in traditionally tough musky conditions, we've had some really good windows or feeding windows that open up during the afternoon when everybody else is in either eating a pizza or taking a nap. So um, if you're, uh, if, the, if the windows aren't very good in the, in the afternoon or in the mornings or in the evenings, then I would I'd maybe fish throughout the day and you may, you may find a couple extra bites. So I would say for me, it's, it's more just banging your head against the wall, fishing, fishing good spots with good baits over and over and over again and just stay consistent and steady and um, that's that's worked for me for for many years so on leech lake what looks ordinary can be extraordinary if you've had the same wind for several days in a row um, you know there's a lot of stuff here that just doesn't look you know you don't you don't have lots of real big cabbage beds it might be junk weeds it might be just plain rocks on a shoreline that doesn't look too exciting, but if you, you know, I know for me, if we've had the same wind several days in a row, I start to look at so some real basic shorelines that don't have anything extraordinary about them, but the fish will stack there. That kind of is part of the conditions question too, is stable. Anything stable seems to be stable and then if you get a change coming that's usually the time you want to be out there. Oh, I don't think I can get it. Oh, oh nice work. <laughs> that long middle finger there. That's, that's, a, that's a tiller boat versus a glass boat. You yeah. know, he's not really used to that. Feels like something is gonna happen here. Yeah. <laughs> Shadows are long. We got Bob. Jeez. Why are they porpoising right now? Those are muskies. Jeez, there's one. Oh. Frickin' coming in late. God, I'm cranking slow. What are they taking so long to catch up for? Come back and eat it. God, I love these fish. I also hate them at the same time. That was not a small one. No, that was not a small one. Okay. <laughs> there's, there's a good little squad of them here. They're swimming all over on the side imaging. See, see those streaks? What is with the muskies on this reef today? That's a wrap. Uh, the guide life with Bob and Tim. Man, what a what a fun fun day, fun journey yesterday. You know, every yeah. day muskie fishing's a journey. There's new stories, and I uh, I sure got a got a fish with an old friend, really good old friend, and I 
got a fish with a new friend and it won't be the last time, so. Yeah, that was a fun day. Yeah, yeah, great teamwork, great camaraderie. Uh, you know, I think we kept talking about over and over, you know, whether the camera was rolling or not. Yeah. Just having fun, working as a team, positive mental attitude. And, you know, I think even the joke about the bird smell <laughs> and uh, all is forgiven when, when uh, we, we yeah. trade out the bird smell for the, that was for good the timing. musky slime. Yep. Yeah. Right? And so... Um, That'll be a story that's told for many years. I think it will be. Yeah. You know, what was yesterday a 14 or 15 hour day? And, yeah, it was a good grinder. You know, you can look at, uh, you can look at the grind as being something that's going to be a long day or you can look at it as something that's going to be a lot of fun. And, and, you know, what's you know. really cool for me is we, we we caught the big one right away in the morning, back trolling, which is a technique that I, I love doing on, on rocks and in big waves. But honestly, my favorite, favorite part about the whole day was not even the part of catching them. It was our evening. Sure. And our evening fish was, it was insane. We had a reef and wild. we went around this reef and we had some, some active fish, but not really active fish. And then all of a sudden, they, more porpoises, I, was it 20 porpoises? Is at that least. exaggerating? Probably at least. least. At, at least 20, more than I've ever seen in over 25 years of chasing these fish. And then we had one pass and they there, there's three active ones, two hot chasers and one really big one that tried kind of to bite, but didn't get it. And yeah. um, that, was, that, was, that was a great memory. Great, great day. So yeah. I, hope, I hope everybody that watched got, got to learn a little bit. Um, you know, uh, thank you. Um, and if, if somebody wants to come up here and go musky fishing, how do they get a hold of you here at Agency Bay? Well, I think, you know, A, calling Leisure Outdoor Adventures for a musky trip with like Tim or myself or Toby or Jeremiah or one of our musky guides, but uh, yeah. you know, they can easily get a hold of us through Leisure Outdoor Adventures. Um, but honestly, you know, get a hold of us at agencybaylodge.com and uh, or get a message us on Facebook and we can definitely, definitely help. It's one of the things we pride ourselves with is a, being centrally located on the lake, um, you know, so like yesterday the wind was blowing. Um, today the wind was blowing so big that I think we all had to head west, Yeah. right? And, yep. and that's kind of the beauty. There are, you know, other areas of the lake where you get pretty stuck, Yeah. right? And, uh, you know, for today it was just head west. Yeah, you, can, fi part. you can fish anywhere Absolutely. out here in Big Wind. Absolutely. I, I got to tell you uh, a cool story. Yesterday I was talking to my wife on the phone, and this is a good compliment to you. And I said, honey, I, I know where we're going for our next family vacation because I, I haven't been here for a very oh. long time. And just walking the property, just the, the lodge and the beach and everything about the facility, ha your attention to detail. And I'm like, this is a spot I want to come come hang out yeah, for a week you. with my family. So. Yeah, we try really hard, absolutely. Yeah. And it's like we talked about yesterday, we always thought uh, if somebody could run a resort and not forget what it's like to be a customer, yeah, then uh, you can have a lot of fun, and we do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's guide life. Muskies on Leech Lake. Awesome. Nice work, boys. Yeah. Leisure Outdoor Adventures would like to thank all their sponsors for their support in making the guide life happen.